بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and welcome back to another informative and exciting lesson of English subject for grade 3 I hope all of you are fine and are waiting for me so I'm back uh, students uh, as you remember that we had started a new story and the name of that story was Dorothy meets a scarecrow we had finished the story and we did all the questions and answers and I hope all of you have noted them already in your neat notebooks so today we are moving on to the next part uh, the next question in the same part comprehension part next question and that is these questions are more difficult like um, they would need a bit longer answers okay these questions are more difficult discuss them first discuss them first okay we are going to talk about it now discuss means talk about it first then try to answer it okay how do we know the scarecrow is kind and polite how do we know the scarecrow is kind and polite how do we know the scarecrow is kind and polite okay let me tell you what's the meaning of kind kind is a helpful person caring person helpful helping person and caring person so kind and polite polite is friendly and uh, like nice person polite is friendly and nice so how can you say that scarecrow is kind and polite how can you say that the scarecrow is helpful and a nice person okay uh, here you cannot say that he was very good therefore we say that he was kind and polite uh, we cannot say that he was nice we have to give some reasons here you need to find out some reasons in the story and on the basis of those reasons you have to prove that he was a kind and polite person so let's see what happened in the story now students we are back at the point where the scarecrow was introduced in the story uh, let us find out what her reason we find to prove him a kind and polite person so let's see here he started the moving uh, he's the eyes wink slowly at her and then yes here the scarecrow nodded its head to her in a friendly way the scarecrow nodded its head to her in a friendly way now students uh, I told you that the scarecrow was a friendly person so he did not want to frighten Dorothy uh, it was an unusual thing it was an uncommon thing it was a strange thing that a scarecrow was moving so uh, he moved in a friendly way and it is considered a very polite thing he is very polite that he did not want to frighten Dorothy he could have said boom and for that uh, Dorothy would have run away from that place but Do uh, Scarecrow did not do anything like that he just moved in a friendly way he just nodded its head in a friendly way so here we can see that he was a polite person next thing is here good day said the scarecrow good day said the scarecrow now uh, here we can see that scarecrow greeted Dorothy and greeting is a polite thing if you greet someone you say assalamu alaikum you can say good morning good evening or whatever uh, so this is considered a very polite thing if you say this first now here Dorothy did not say anything but scarecrow said good day so here the scarecrow is a very polite person that he is greeting first he is greeting first he is saying hello first and he asked how do you do 
he asked how do you do so on the basis of these two reasons we can say that he is a very polite person but now we have to find out the reason to call him a kind person too kind means helpful and caring a person who cares about others he cares for others okay now in one of the final paragraphs we noted that the scarecrow said that do let me carry the basket for you i shall not mind it do let me carry the basket for you now he is helping dorothy the scarecrow is helping dorothy in carrying the basket so he is a kind person he does not want her to be tired so he helps her in carrying the basket so this is a very kind thing if you help someone in carrying something if you help someone in doing something so that is a very kind thing uh, and that exists in scarecrow okay so one thing we noted that he noted in a friendly way in the first place so that the dorothy is not frightened of him the second thing we noted that he greeted first and the third thing we no noted that Dor um, dorothy was requested to give him the basket like the scarecrow request dorothy to let him carry the basket now let's move on to the next question that is can you explain why the scarecrow is afraid of a lighted match can you explain why the scarecrow is afraid of a lighted match now can can you tell the reason why the scarecrow is frightened of a lighted match now if you remember that the body of the scarecrow was stuffed with straw straw means dry grass you can see the hands and the, the feet of the scarecrow at the moment so um, everything is stuffed with straw filled with straw and he told us in the story that he is not afraid of a pin if someone stick a pin into his body he is not afraid of it because he doesn't feel the pain of it he is not afraid of the pin if someone stick a pin into his body he will not feel the pain so he is not afraid of a pin he also told us that if someone treads on my foot i don't feel the pain because i am not made of flesh my body is not made of flesh like human beings so i don't feel the pain and he also told us that he is not afraid of being bitten by anything if someone bites him he does not feel the pain because the same reason his body is made of straw his body is filled with straw so um, he doesn't feel the pain as we do we human beings feel the pain of being bitten by anyone just like in this picture you can see the boy is feeling the pain at the moment and if someone treed on your foot you feel the pain and if someone uh, stick a pin into your body you will feel the pain but the scarecrow said that i am afraid of only one thing in the world and that is a lighted match a lighted match he said that i am afraid of only one thing and that is a lighted match the reason for it is the same because his body is stuffed with straw straw means dry grass and dry a dry grass can easily catch fire dry grass can easily catch fire that's the reason he is afraid of lighted match if his body catches fire he will be destroyed he will be finished he will be finished his body is made of straw and a straw can easily catch fire and can destroy it therefore the scarecrow is afraid of the lighted match this is the only thing in the world he is afraid of 
Now let's have a look at the last question of this portion, which is the scarecrow says that he doesn't have a brain. The scarecrow says that he doesn't have a brain. Is it possible to walk and talk without a brain? Is it possible to walk and talk without a brain? To answer this, you have an open choice. You can use your own words to answer this question because it is related to a story. A scarecrow can never walk and talk, but in this story, the scarecrow is walking and talking, which is impossible. So he did not need a brain for it. It is just a story. It is just a fiction. Fiction means false story, not true story. Okay. So it is a fiction. In this story, the scarecrow is walking and talking, which is impossible. So if we talk in the context of the story, it is possible that someone can walk and talk, talk without a brain. But if we talk about ourselves, if we talk about Dorothy, so Dorothy cannot do that because she is a human being. And for a human being, it is very important to have a brain. If you don't have a brain, you cannot do anything in your life. You cannot think, you cannot talk, you cannot walk and you cannot do anything in your life. Everything that we do, we think and we show is all dependent on our brain. If we don't have a brain, we cannot walk, we cannot talk and we cannot do anything. But for the scarecrow, it was possible because it was just a story. It was not a reality. So you can use both the answers. You can either say that yes, it is, it is possible that the scarecrow can walk and talk without a brain. But uh, you can also use the other answer that um, no, no uh, uh, human beings cannot walk and talk without a brain. But for that, you have to be careful. The scarecrow can walk and talk without a brain. But Dorothy is a human being. She cannot walk and talk without a brain. Okay, if you want to write yes, you will use scarecrow in the answer. And if you want to write no, you can use Dorothy in the answer. Or you can say human beings cannot do so. So this was it students. I explained all the questions. I explained all the words in the questions. And uh, I gave you ideas of how to write the answer, what to write in the answer. So let's have a quick review of the questions. How do we know the scarecrow is kind and polite? Now I told you that he nodded in a friendly way. He greeted Dorothy and he wanted to help Dorothy in carrying the basket. All these facts tell us that he was kind and polite. Okay. Can you explain why scarecrow is afraid of a lighted match? Yes. The answer for this is scarecrow is afraid of lighted match because uh, his body is stuffed with straw and straw can easily catch fire and if his body catches fire he will be destroyed he will be finished and the last question the scarecrow says that he doesn't have a brain is it possible to walk and talk without a brain here I gave you two options. You can say yes, it is a story and in a story anything can happen. The scarecrow was walking and talking even without a brain. So in a story it is possible to walk and talk without a brain. But if we talk about our life, ourselves, it is not possible to walk and talk without a brain. So if you want to write no, you can say that no, for human beings, it is not possible to walk and talk without a brain. 
So students, I hope you will write the answers in your own words and uh, I'll receive your homework and I'll, I hope that you will write all the answers correctly. So wish you best of luck. Thanks for your time. اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما